again to a river and put him in the water. And this way, one day doing, you say, I never do this. <laughs> Please excuse me. Dandajane Radha Jana Nadi Tachiva. As one remembers this, that to be in the material world, how suffocating it is, he will not fit for going to back to her. He must be completely detestable. If he keeps little attachment, then yeah, it is very good sometimes. Then you have to remember. This is not permanent. I shall put next moment in the bad condition. That he must know. That is knowledge. And if he makes compromise, then he has to remember. Part of this life, up to the time of death, in our next life, we will be put in a, in a situation immediately where we can take up Krishna consciousness again, or where we have to suffer uh, karma before we come into Krishna consciousness. We will get Krishna consciousness again. Yoga Prastha Sanya. Krishna Angsimutangi hi Yoga Prastha Sanya. A Krishna conscious person will be given all comforts of material life so that he may regain without any botherism. Sometimes it's stated that Krishna will take everything away from the devotee. Hmm? Sometimes it's That is stated... special favor. The <laughs> <laughs> rascal is again attached. Take all that. <laughs> that is special favor. That is not ordinary favor. So that when everything is taken away, he will completely surrender to Krishna. Krishna, I am nothing except you. Tumi vina ke achya. I am nothing. <laughs> that is very good. Once one performs devotional service, then he can't get away from Krishna. It's, can he still get away? Hmm? It seems like... Yes, that offset is always because you are independent. I see with myself that if I try to get away a little, then he beats me so much that I have to come back. <laughs> yeah, that is a special favor. So Krishna is directly controlling that? Yes. When he sees that fool wants me at the same time material one. So take his material position, everything. So that he will only me, that's all. And it was done to me. <laughs> I got practical experience. I did not want to take some <laughs> I thought that I shall do business. And Krishna forced me to take some and all, everything, this man. <laughs> Your business was... I was thinking uh, becoming Birla. But I'm now more than Birla. <laughs> this is Krishna's mercy. Birla gives you money now. Mm -hmm. Not only that, how many branches Birla has? Yes. <laughs> and he's an example. Yes. So the Prabhupada, if a devotee gets sick, should he go and take uh, medicine? Better not to take. Just depend on Krishna? Yes, that is very good. You said the other day, Srila Prabhupada, that we should take care of disease if it comes. Chanakapanda was also saying fire and so that on. That is material concept. But fasting is one way of eliminating the disease without taking yeah. medicine. That is a Indian proverb that disease an unwanted guest. If you don't give food, they'll go. <laughs> if some guest has come whom you do not want, don't give him food, then he'll go. Similarly, <laughs> <laughs> disease, if you fast, it will. <laughs> Another story. Praharena <laughs> Dhananjaya. One gentleman had eight or nine daughters and son in law. So when they came, he was giving them good food and shelter, everything. So 
then they saw they, they, we are very comfortable living at Father Nilay's expense. So they did not want to go. <laughs> the Father Nilay said, it's very dangerous. This, all the son in are not going. Then he began to, first day he did not supply salt. So one son in said, oh, they are now desexual, they are not giving salt. So one went. And next day something else, something else, something else, shortened, shortened. So those who are intelligent, they went. The last one, he was not going. <laughs> then <laughs> his brother-in-law thought they give him good beating. Then he went. Prarena <laughs> Dharanda. Others, those who are intelligent, they, when they thought that now there is this fulfill belief, they are not giving everything. So they gradually. Last one, he was a rascal. <laughs> he was beaten severely, then he went. <laughs> so if we're beaten by this material nature, then no, we'll no, go yes. away. Yes, no, material nature's business is beating and kicking. That is only reason. But we are so full, we are taking a very nice kicking. <laughs> that is the disease. We accept the kicking as very nice. That is foolishness. We are suffering always by three kinds of adhati, adhivoti, adhidvaiti, and disturbances. There is disturbance in the body, in the mind, disturbance by other living entities, some disturbed by climate, disturbed by famine, always disturbance. Still we are thinking it is very nice. This is foolishness. 